Hello party people. Oh, I feel like I need to take a deep breath. Like that yoga tension breath. I just looked up. My curtain rod is broken. Oh, I can't deal with it anymore. Oh, okay, I forgot what kind of yoga breath that's called. Something I probably can't pronounce. And now all I can look at is my broken curtain rod. Well, I'm glad you came to hang out with me today. What are we gonna get done? I wrote down my to-do list that's Wentworth colored in marker all over it. Hashtag mom life. Oh, that's right. I thought we would get some fun stuff done today. I wanna decorate for Valentine's Day. So I will share with you all of the little things I got for Valentine's Day, like in the past stores that I've been to, which is um, subjective, but not much. And then I also need to go get my Valentine's Day stuff out of the shed, which also reminds me, I need to really organize my seasonal items, but I don't really want to. I need to. Anyway, maybe we'll do that. I don't know. I also need to clean a little bit. You guys, I shared on my Instagram, which I share a lot there. So if you want to follow me there, yeah, go ahead and do that. But I shared the other day a bunch of tap to cleans. And I kid you not, like I cleaned my whole house, it was looking nice, and then five minutes later, when my kids got home, it was a complete disaster again. An infinite amount of cleaning is always ready to be done in my house. So maybe we'll pick a spot to clean. I also always have some laundry to do. I think Alex threw the sheets in this morning, so that's always fun. Oh my gosh, and I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about house hunting. So we are on the hunt for a new home which I don't think is really news, but we're finally really starting to actively search for one. Our goal is to move by the end of the year. Who knows if that's gonna happen? And you know what I mean? It's like, keep your expectations low. We actually went to view a home, the first home that we went to view yesterday. It was a dud, you guys. They didn't have any photos of it online, and typically we just look online and pick a house apart and say no. But this one didn't have any pictures, so our imagination was going wild, and we were like, oh, if the, in the inside must be so nice. I don't know what we were thinking. Uh, it wasn't anything to write home about. I should have known better. But just going and, you know, actively looking at a home, it, it really did something, you know? So I'll share more about that later, because I did find a home that I really like, and I want to share with you. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. And I want to share with you one of my favorite dinners tonight. I've shared it with you like a really long time ago, I feel like, but I make it all the time and I want to share it with you again just in case maybe you forgot about it or maybe you never saw me make it or maybe you want to try it and you forgot what ingredients are in it. So here I am going to share with you it again. Oh, and I haven't, I went to make it the other night, short story long. I didn't have all the ingredients, so I went on Thrive Market to order the things that I needed and my order is in, so I figured I will share a Thrive Market grocery haul with you and I have a lot of cleaning products to share that I got from Thrive Market as well. They are sponsoring today's video and I wanna thank them so much for continuing to sponsor me and I wanna thank you guys so much for continuing to support my channel when I have sponsored content, especially when I have sponsored content. So I've been talking to you guys about Thrive Market for several months now. It's an online market whose mission is to make healthy living easy and affordable and uh, <laughs> Members save on average $32 an order. I'm excited to get all my words out for you guys. Thrive Market has high quality, sustainable products. My estimated savings on the order that I'm going to share with you later today uh, was $64. And it's the new year, so I got a lot of new cleaning products. Well, I, I mean, I got more than cleaning products, but I needed to order cleaning products, so I just added it to my Thrive Market order uh, because they sell so much more than food, you guys. They have beauty products, baby products, supplements, bath and body products, kitchenware, household supplies, fitness stuff, and an abundance of cleaning products. They offer so many products that are free of dyes, color additives, parabens, SLS, fragrance, and phthalates. They also offer cleaning products that are non-toxic, hypoallergenic, and made with essential oils, which makes them smell so amazing, I'm just saying. I ordered one cleaning product from Thrive Market, I, I think like last month, and I've been using the snaws out of it. Uh, everyone's trying to get cleaning done in the new year, am I right? So I'll also mention that I love Thrive Market because they have carpet neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouse. And if you're interested in signing up for Thrive Market, they offer two different membership options. They have a one month membership, which is $9.95 a month. And then they offer a 12 month membership, which is $5 a month and you get billed at 
$59.95 for the year, which is what I choose to do. And I'm excited to share your exclusive offer today. If you join Thrive Market today, you will get 25% off of your first order and a free gift up to a $24 value. And I will put the gifts gift options up here on the screen. But you can use my link to get that exclusive offer and all of the details and the link will be below in my description box. And I will share with you my whole haul in a bit. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you my Valentine's Day decor first. I have to first get it from my shed. You guys know I don't really like going out there because there always seems to be some kind of insect or animal or snake or raccoon or whatever. Or dead snake skin. You guys will be my courage. I guess I'll bring you out there with me. Let's go. Pray for my safety. Ah, is anyone in there? Ah. As you can tell, it's super organized in there. This is the epitome of everything has a space and everything is in its place. That's a joke if you can't get my sarcasm. Look, some of these totes don't even have lids. It's probably a squirrel living in one. All right, we just have to find the Valentine's Day stuff and get out of here. I think that's it. I also packed away my Christmas stuff in quite a haste. And typically we have a little lane to walk. I got it. Okay, I think this is all the Valentine's Day stuff I have. I bought, I did buy some new stuff from like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, that kind of store this year. Oh no, wait, I don't think this is it. Oh, this is the stuff from Target. So I did, if you guys shop, saw my Target Valentine's Day shop with me, uh, in my haste of looking at all of the baking, I can't get my words out. It's so cold outside, I think my lips are numb. It's not that cold. I'm just an idiot. Anyway, I did plan on having like a cookie decorating party or no, I think I decided on cakes because I did get some cake stuff. Yeah, so this isn't the bag I was looking for, BRB. You know what? I thought I got more stuff than just these two things, but I guess that's all I did. Pat on the back for me. We'll see what I have under there, but I don't think I shared this with you. A stinking gnome that says, be mine. He's missing a wing, but that's okay. Because nobody's perfect. Ooh, pillow needs to be washed. Oh, okay, let me lay out all my Valentine's Day stuff, then I'll show you what I got. I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. Well, that was quite simple. I don't have nearly as much Valentine's Day decor as I do Christmas. These pillows are absolutely atrocious. Like, how did they get stained in storage? I'll never know. Oh, one more thing. Now it looks complete. The pillow stains remind me of when I would pack away perfectly clean baby clothes and then I would go to unpack them and they would be have like these really deep yellow stains. And I think, why did I save this? If it has a massive stain on it, am I the only one who experiences like mystery stains after them sitting in storage for a while? Like after an item? Anyway, I have no idea. This should be fairly easy to throw up. So I just have a couple pieces of garland right there. This is probably my favorite purchase. It's a hand towel, but it has a little hook right there so Meredith can't throw it on the floor. I'm sure she'll probably find a way. I got this last year from Marshall's, I think, You're the One. It's just a cute little sign. That's from Target a few years ago. This is a nice addition, actually, now that I'm looking at my Valentine's Day stuff. Again, this was from Marshall's. Marshall's, oh my gosh, you know what, for Christmas, Eleanor got a set of Valentine's Day gnomes. Maybe I'll display them. And then I actually got this one for a charcuterie board. Uh, maybe I'll make a Valentine's Day charcuterie board. I don't know what it, uh. I got this from TJ Maxx. He's missing a wing, but I swear I love him and I could not leave him behind. I got this from Big Lots on clearance, I think. I wonder if the sign is still on him. No, I got him like after the season. Oh, so pretty. I don't know why I'm calling it a him. I got this banner from Big Lots. <laughs> And this is so cute too, this little pitcher. I don't actually put liquid in it. It was $5, oh, okay, it's got hearts on it. And then this is for my makeshift Valentine's Day party. Every day is a party at my house when you have as many kids as I do, so some cake. Who doesn't love some cake? Some cute little sprinkies. Uh, this tablecloth was way cuter than the one I initially bought. And then I got this from Target many years ago. I just liked the cactuses or cacti, but now I don't really love it, so I think I'm just gonna put it right here. Perfect. So apparently I need to do some tidying up. I have no idea what this is. I also don't care. They feel like shoes. Let me see. Should I keep the mystery alive or do you want to know? Oh, it's so cool. Oh my gosh, look at these. They're so, I love this color. Oh, wow. 
Apparently, Alex ordered himself some shoes. I just bought him a pair of shoes. I don't know why he's there. All right, let me clean the rest of this crap up here. Oh, my peppermint creams. I've been doing such a good job not eating these. Look, I've only eaten four. Since Christmas? Are you kidding me? Make that five. Oh my word, speaking of Christmas, look. I forgot to pack away the angel and I told you every year I forget something. I forgot the candy cane thing with a hook, you know what I mean? It was by my front door, I put masks on it. It wasn't really that great. It was mostly a waste of space, but this is the one piece of decor that I completely forgot about. Alex just mentioned it yesterday. He said, are you gonna keep these up till next year? I was like, I don't know, maybe. All right, there's that. I put the trees and the tree topper on my desk where they will inevitably stay for probably three weeks until I get up the nerve. Oh, to put them in the shed. Guys, what is on this? It's sticky. It's life with kids. Everything is sticky. Okay, 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 okay. What am I gonna do with this stuff? I don't know, I guess this can stay up here, it's pink. So this is the cleaning product that I got from Thrive Market about a month ago. I've shared it with you guys on multiple occasions. I seriously, it smells so good. I can't wait to open the rest of them. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Mm. Okay, I think these flowers will go beautifully right there. Look at this place. A little couple touches and it's Valentine's up in this. Wait, did I hang these here? Oh, I love this. I love it. I love it. Oh my, this makes me happy. I was watching so many things about like minimalism lately and like decluttering and organizing and all that stuff. But this is, I would say, minimal decor looks good, in my opinion. I mean, I'm not a home decor expert. All right, what goes there? Hello, my darling. Hello, my sweetheart. I guess I could be a proper YouTuber and light this candle. I don't know how YouTubers do it, guys. It takes me like 30 minutes to light a dang candle. There it is. Ayyyy. Can't see where anything is. Ooh, the ambiance. It totally transforms the space. Moving on. I got this really nice gem from the DT like four years ago. Sweet. Okay, I could have sworn that this wreath was for Valentine's Day, but I guess it's for spring. I found it in the garage while we were cleaning the other day. Isn't this gorgeous? It was like $5 from Target. The tag fell off, but I think it was their spirit brand. But this one, yes. Okay, I'm sure I'm not supposed to use wood cleaner on glass. Also, I never put like a top coat on when I painted these tables. So something was stuck on it the other day. I was scrap, it's whatever. You know what I mean? Nothing in my house is perfect. Better than nothing. And the finishing touch. A little cutie patoot, cutie patoot. He's not the cutest, but he'll do for now. Also, should we throw some essential oils in there? What should we put? I don't have like an abundance of essential oils. I mean, to some people, this would be an abundance. I like to use Eden Gar Eden's Garden. They are very reasonably priced, but I don't have like Valentine's Day scents. I don't know, what does Valentine's Day smell like? Roses? Ugh. Vanilla? Sweater weather? I guess we can do hope. Let's see, I think we all need a little bit of hope right now. Tick tock, the clock is ticking. I don't know what I should do and I wish you would be right here with me. Moving on to this tray over here. I never know how to style this. That's basically what happens. I don't know, I just feel like that's good. Right? <laughs> well, I think I need to get a few more Valentine's Day pieces. You know, every time I would go to the store, I kept thinking, ah, oh, I have plenty, I have plenty. But I have been really enjoying decorating this section up here. And now that, I, like, the black and white, that's... I don't know why I thought I was 17 years old, but I thought that was cute. And that's all I got. That's all she wrote, folks. I do have this. My stomach is literally growling. Can you hear it? I might hang it up there. Oh, let me share this. So we needed a second stool. I, I think I shared during Christmas, I got that square one. Everyone kept falling off of it. We had a bunch of extra kids over and I feel like every single person hurt themselves trying to use that stool. I don't know why it was so difficult. So I went back to Home Goods. This is such a weird angle. <laughs> I, can't, I can't stand up, I can't sit down, I just gotta squat. This is my workout for the week. Anyway, I went back to Home Goods to try to find a circular stool. 
I haven't been able to find one in forever. They had a bunch. I'll try to insert a video clip because I sent one to Alex to ask him which one I should get. They had a unicorn, they had an A and an E. Can you imagine? A, Avelina, E, Eleanor. But I didn't want it to be specific to either one of them. But I found this donut, short story long. Isn't this adorable? Love it. Now that this wall is empty, oh, you know where else I haven't been? Joann's. I feel like they normally have some pretty sizable decor pieces. Let me just put that there. How's that look? Beautiful. Oh, you know what I have been thinking about doing? Oh, I could hang up my heart cutting board. Look, it's a heart. Oh, let's do it. Let me see. Wow, ah, there's a bee! Or a wasp, or a mosquito. What is that? What is that? It has wings. It can fly. I believe I could fly. Oh, normally Alex takes care of these things. Okay, hold on. I got it. I don't need no man. And look, while I'm at it, I can just dust my walls. It's fantastic. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, what was I doing? Back to your regularly scheduled program. I've been meaning to hang a few cutting boards. I don't know if I like it. Or if I did this one. Looks stupid. What about this one? Still dumb. I mean, maybe I can like do this kind of situation. Oh Lord. Maybe I can do like this kind of situation. You know what I mean? I can't seem to get out of your way so you can see what it would look like. Whatever, I'm not doing that today. I just don't feel like it. Boom, done. Last order of business. My stomach is howling, guys. Can you hear it? I have to hang this and then we're done with the Valentine's Day stuff, I think. But this is the tall tale sign of Meredith was here. Look at that. Made with love. Oh, I love that so much. And then I hung the other one up by my dishwasher. Cute. Now we're at the computer. I am going to actually make lunch in just a few minutes, but I did want to share with you this house that I found the other day. Hopefully it's still up. Do you guys do this where like I leave like 17 tabs open at a time because I'm always working on a whole bunch of things. You know what I mean? Okay, here it is. Disclosure. Oh, we will not be getting this house. That's why I'm sharing the outside of it. So I'm on realtor.com looking through all the houses in our budget and what we want. And I'm just like uninspired. So I start looking outside of our area and I found this house and that's why we're not getting it. It is too far away from where we want to live. And this house in our area would be well over a million dollar home. Let me just show you. Here it is. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous. You guys might be thinking, ugh, but I'm not. I love like old style colonial, is that a colonial type house? Look at this. You guys, if you saw the houses in my area that were in my, I mean the color, not really, but look at that dining room. It is massive, beautiful. That's what we need. We have a lot of people. You know, we need a bigger house. Look at that fireplace, the French doors. Everything is just so gorgeous. And I really like the old style. Like, I mean, this reminds me of a home that you would see up north. The kitchen is not like uber impressive, but I'm willing to sacrifice certain things. And that's another thing. Are we willing to sacrifice, you know, square footage? Because where we live, like I said, this house would be a million dollars. Obviously our budget is not a million dollars. Do you see this? A fireplace, like right off of the kitchen. This is the breakfast nook. I feel like this gives the house so much character. Oh, and that's what I love. Oh my gosh, I was showing Wentworth last night and he said, that can be my room. <laughs> I was like, just wait for it, bud. But that is the breakfast nook. That's where the fireplace is that I just showed you. This is the kitchen. And just look, oh my gosh, just wait, just wait. How this house is still on the market, I have no idea because every other house that I've looked at, literally a day later, it could be pending. That's how fast everything is flying off the market these days, right? It's insanity. So anyway, we would either have to sacrifice drive time, you know, where we want to go, sacrifice the kids' school, which is a whole other dilemma. They might be switching schools next year. I don't want to talk about it. Or we would sacrifice square footage to stay where we're at for, you know, the budget that we have for our house. This is the closet. Has a chandelier. I love it. Please tell me you guys love it as much as I do. Look at the character in this back lanai, the porch area. This is gorgeous. You guys know I'm not one to have everything stark white and all that. Like this is my vibe. This feels like home to me. Like this is absolutely blowing my socks off. I just, oh my God. And then this pool. 
I know pictures can distort things on how large they are, but I think this is a pretty large pool. I love how the ceilings are arced. I don't know proper words or anything like that. I love how in some of the bedrooms, the ceilings are like this. I adore this so much. I cannot explain to you how much I love this house. And I was sharing it with Alex and we were just both oogling over it. We could not believe the price on this, but it's because of the area that it's in. Oh, and then look at the gardens. Oh, I just can't. You guys, I'm crying. It's amazing. I mean, there's no other word for it. It's nothing short of amazing. I wish I could take this house and move it to a different part of town. And then another thing that I've really been enjoying doing is putting in my budget as like a million dollars or whatever and looking at the million dollar homes. There are so many in our area. Uh, and really like $1 million won't buy you much around here. And I'm, well, I wish I was kidding. Two million though? Unbelievable. And then I look at these homes and I think, you know, what kind of lives are these people living in this home? Like what kind of jobs do they have to facilitate this kind of house? I just, it fascinates me. It really does. Do you guys ever do that? You know, just randomly look up million dollar homes and just, just to get a peek inside. You know what I mean? It's interesting. But I love that house. I love how it's laid out. I love the square footage. The price is even in our price point. We just can't do the area. And I don't know if you're interested in this, but we've been looking intermittently for, you know, a couple years. We've always known that we have grown out of this house before we moved here. Uh, but we, we do plan to keep this house and rent it out. What was I going to say? We just need a bigger house. We, we're a lot of people. We need a bigger house. And the houses that I have been looking at are just, ugh. So I'm just hoping that one will come up that will be for us and everything will kind of fall into place. Fingers crossed, right? Fingers crossed so hard. Oh, I don't know why I'm torturing myself. I'm reading the description, which I read last night, but now it's just like coming back to the forefront of my mind. It has a spacious walk-in attic, a large bonus room, <sighs> swoon. <gasps> You know what we can do? I'm just gonna talk about this for like two more minutes. So Alex and I throw around the idea of building a house, which ultimately we would love to do, but finding land where we live is like, oh, it's so, first of all, it's so expensive and it's very hard to come by. And we don't want a lot of, not too much. A couple acres would be nice, an acre and a half would be absolutely incredible. If we were to build, I would build that. It's settled, I'll just, I'll, we're gonna do it. <laughs> No, we won't. But wouldn't that be incredible if we did? Hmm. I'm gonna have to take screenshots of that entire house. <gasps> Maybe we can walk through it and then I can get video of the whole house and then I can get blueprints of it? Would that be allowed? Can I do something like that? Or would that be wasting the realtor's time who would show us around the house? Cause I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna be disrespectful, but I also want that house. But then like if I build the house brand new, is it going to have that character? No. No, it won't. You can't do it, Kim, let it go. Let's go dry our eyes and make some lunch. Oh my word, you guys. I almost broke my spare ring light, my new ring light. You guys know, if you watch my last vlog, I broke my ring light. Hoot nanny. Almost broke it again. I literally screamed, no! It was quite dramatic. Okay, I am going to make some like cheese quesadillas. Super simple, we have obviously all of my kids. And then we have a couple neighborhood kids over, a couple family cousins over, the huge. So really simple. Oh, I have canned chicken, which I love. I actually don't love canned chicken. That was kind of a joke. I do love that it's convenient and my kids love it. You guys, if you haven't tried canned chicken, I don't really have any qualms about it. If you cook it like with a little bit of salt and pepper oil on the stove top, it's not bad. It's bug. Oh, I, so I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna cut up some fruit, and then I'm gonna clean this area. This is from brunch this morning. I made a charcuterie board. I should've shared that with you. I don't know what I was thinking. I did share a picture of it on my Instagram, so if you want some charcuterie inspiration, and technically, I know, it's not a charcuterie board because it doesn't have meats and cheeses. My cheeses. Oh my gosh, you guys. I need to declutter. It'll happen one day. Maybe I just need a bigger kitchen. I mean, that would be nice, but the kitchen that I have now is, okay, sorry, <laughs> I got completely distracted. What was I saying? The kitchen, my kitchen now is like twice the size as my last kitchen, so I am 
thoroughly thankful for having more than one drawer. All right, what am I doing? I need to hydrate. Whoa! Guys, that's what happens when you get distracted by your dang phone. Alex is texting me uh, pictures and look, my cup runneth over. Well, not quite, it almost did. Can you see this? Probably not, but if I try to, can you see this? Can you see how full it is? I did not make a splash. Bottoms up. Purifies the soul. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground and I Sometimes I feel like a lunch lady. Okay, haul time. Here is the haul as a whole. All the cleaning products. Uh, it's cleaning heavy, I would think. And then like, you know, some pantry items. So these are the Better Life products that I fell in love with, and this is an all-purpose cleaner pomegranate. This scent is sage and citrus, and then a granite and stone cleaner, I think pomegranate? Oh, pomegranate and grapefruit. I just smelled them all, and it's a very mild scent, which I like. I don't want it to be too overpowering. And then I found this bathroom cleaner in a citrus scent, and I thought that was right up my alley. I also found on their website, these three bluebirds Swedish dishcloths. I don't know, I just, for some reason, got really into this. It's those impulse buys that get me sometimes. Look how pretty they are. I don't have any dishcloths that look that pretty, you know? And then, oh my gosh, we just put some essential oils in my diffuser over there, but I found this one on Thrive Market for a reasonable price. I wanna say it was on sale. You guys! So I bought a diffuser for my desk a while ago, like mm, several years ago, and it never really worked correctly, so I have been in the market for one for quite some time. I just didn't want to spend a gob ton of money, so I found that on sale and I thought it was the perfect opportunity. I also found this, so random, but they also sell kids toys on there. And these are wooden, so they're going to last a long time. Educational and fun. It's just six eggs with the color and then you match the tops. And I, I don't know, I thought that was fun. And then I got some condiments, you guys, for whatever reason, I always forget to buy these. So I definitely added it to my online order from Thrive Market. When the thought came in my head, I was able to do that, which was nice. So I got, finally, Worcestershire sauce. And then I got some organic ketchup that Thrive Market has the, their own brand, which is cool. And then I got this sriracha red sauce. Never had it before, but it looks enticing. Add it to any, I don't know, fried rice or something. That's what we use it for. And then I got this medium buffalo sauce. I thought, oh my gosh, my mouth is literally drooling, drooling already. Pablo's theory is real. I thought, maybe I'll make some wings for everyone. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. And then I also needed Cocoa Aminos. And this was a decent price on the website. So I'm glad that I found it. Another purchase that I always forget while I'm in another store. And then Sir Kensington's. This is Alex's favorite. It's Chipotle mayonnaise. And he goes through it like water. I also got a couple snacks. Pigless pork rinds. 
Ooh, these are nacho cheese and then Texas barbecue. So you guys know one of my sister-in-laws is keto. So um, we're planning on having her over in a week or so. And I just always like to have snacks on hands when I know people are coming over. You know, for different diets, different things. Moving on, I also got these delicious cheese balls. And oh, they're both cheese balls, white cheddar and normal cheddar. I just thought I could throw these in the kids' lunch boxes. La my last Thrive Market order, I got a lot of this brand Pipcorn. And we really enjoy the items so I went out and I got more and then these Annie's homegrown bunny cheddars the chocolate kind because who doesn't love a good chocolate bunny and everyone in my household loves the Z bars so I stocked up on those we got 18 of them great for the lunchbox Ooh, that almost tripped and fell that is my Thrive Market order So this is the next day, the next morning, and you guys know how I like to stay on top of my routine and fold one load of laundry every morning. So here I am doing that. <laughs> doing that. You guys, I got so behind on laundry. What is this, 20,000 loads? And I'm embarrassed to say this is not even all of it. I had folded towels earlier that morning, probably two loads of towels or later the night before. I don't remember. It's all a blur. It's all a laundry blur. Everything runs together. It's never ending. It's the worst, right? And here's my lovely helper. And this is why I fold laundry on my bed. But she actually was pretty behaved. <laughs> Normally she goes through all the piles and just rips everything apart. But yes, I had karate outfits after that, or martial arts outfits, I don't know what they're called. All of that bulk, and then I probably had two more, maybe three more, I don't know. Like I said, it's all it runs together, it's never ending. I have even more laundry today, and it's a new day. And then on top of that, I also wash diapers every other day, which feels like every day, but I remind myself it's every other day. It's just so, how do you find time? for laundry. I guess you don't find time, you make time. Just like with everything else. But you know what? I will say a lot of laundry means that we have clothes to wear. Oh, which reminds me of one of uh, one of the quotes that one of my sister-in-laws uh, told me many years ago. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, here it is. I am grateful for early wake-ups because that means I have children to love. I'm grateful for a house to clean because I have a safe place to live. I'm grateful for laundry, that means I have clothes to wear. Dirty dishes means I have food to eat. Crumbs under the table means I have family meals. I am grateful that I have shopping to do because I have money to use. I am grateful for toilets to clean because I have indoor plumbing. I am grateful for lots of noise because that means my kids are having fun. I am grateful for endless questions because kids are learning. And I am grateful for getting into bed sore and tired because that means I am still alive. So many things to be grateful for all the time. We just have to look for the good in it. So even though I am kind of annoyed that I have 7 million loads of laundry, I am grateful that we have clothes to wear. Just a little inspiration for you today. <laughs> So this wasn't sitting right with me and I knew, I knew I had more. Also, I had to run to the store one day because I needed a gift. I can't contain myself, so I was looking in the seasonal section. I shared on Instagram that I found this lovely lady. How could I leave her at the store? Look how beautiful she is, so romanticized. I fell in love with her, so of course he or she came home with me, I don't even know. It doesn't matter, I love the roses. I also found this that I thought, oh, maybe, maybe, and then I found this that I was like, oh, and then I found this that I really liked and then I found another gnome look how beautiful this one is the rainbows I don't know I thought you know what we can keep him around until St. Patrick's Day and stuff a multi-seasonal kind of thing I also got some sprinkles for my makeshift uh, I don't know cake decorating party and then I found this which I thought the heart would and the black tones would tie into the be mine gnome with the bee thing 
apparently I don't know much, but I also found this wreath that I thought was super cute too. So I'm gonna hang all of this and then see what I can decorate with, see what looks good. Okay, now I feel like it's a bit much. I love the wreath, but I don't know if like the red tones really match. Initially I just had those three things up there, but then I thought, well, I have to put the gnome up there, but it looked unbalanced, so then I added more red over, I don't know. I don't know, you guys, every time I do this. It's just one big dilemma, and then, I really like this piece. So I had this piece up there, but then I just didn't know what to put on that side. Oh, you guys. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe we can make the gnome the focal point? Does that look terrible? <laughs> How about that? Better, worse? I don't know. <laughs> Are we overdoing it here? Is that, I think that's how I'm gonna keep it. Just, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> decorating is so hard. And then this beauty didn't even fit up there, so I put her over here. I love, I mean, she deserves a pedestal, am I wrong? So that is it! Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you had a good time. Don't forget to check out Thrive Market. The link will be in my description box if you wanna get 25% off of your first order and a free gift up to a $24 value. Let me know what free gift you choose when you sign up. And that is that. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I will see you next time. Bye.